Alright, hey guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to uh, explain how to add dynamic lighting to any airport that you'd like in uh, prepared version 4.5. That's at least what I've been using. Um, you're going to need a uh, piece of software for this. It's called Model Converter X. It is right here. Uh, I will put the link down in the description where to download it. Um, it's really simple. You just extract it to uh, a folder wherever you want. I have it under Prepared Add-ons, Tools, Model Converter X. Another good thing to have is the prepared version 4 SDK. You can find that on the prepared website. And again, you just drag it into its own folder. It uses some of the, uh, the um, you know, compiling methods that Lockheed Martin offers. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to open Model Converter X. You're going to import. You're going to find the uh, BGL file that you want to edit. So in this case, I'm looking through Huntsville scenery and it's the Huntsville terminal.bgl. So, uh, different sceneries may have different names for it. And you're going to want to open it. Now for me, it's loading everything here. And as you can see, I have these light cones because I've actually already added them to my scenery, but I'm just gonna show you guys real quick how to do this. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that this show spotlights is on and you're also going to want to make sure that this paperclip display attached objects is selected and you're going to hit attached object editor add spotlight and now as you can see right here kind of hard to see throughout all these so I'll kind of just zoom in on this one right here uh, I have a new spotlight and you can change the orientation the position color you can change the strength all of that all right here um, I'm gonna actually remove this one because I don't want it and uh, so I have all of them right here they're all positioned the way I want them uh, and now what you're going to do is you can hit export scenery and when you do this you're going to want to select prepared version 4.4 BGL file because that's the SDK that I have installed so when you do that you're going to save it as the uh, I'm saving it as the same file, so it's going to overwrite. In this case, I'm not going to save it, but I will show you that if you go to FSX Sceneries, when I save it, it gives me FX underscore Spotlight FX files. Now, if you just try to run your scenery like this, it will not work. What you need to do is take all of these FX files, and you need to drag and drop them into the effects area of Prepared. So in this case, I copy and pasted them. And then what you'll end up getting is instead of this, which was the default, I just removed all the lighting from it, you get this, which looks much better and much more realistic. Uh, so this was just a simple way on how to add dynamic lighting. One more thing I want to point out is there is an option. If you save the project and you come back and the lights aren't there, go to the importer settings. And I believe it is replace effects by lights. You need to set to true. It's normally set to false, and when you do this, the lights don't appear, and you can't edit them next time you open. So you need to be able, be sure to set that. But uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.